can conflict be positive? That is the subject of this video. Conflict can be positive when the conflict involves objective truth in regards to uh, false doctrine and error and the wrong way of thinking about things. Some of the best ways to resolve conflict is in the way of relationship. Because when you don't have a relationship with somebody, they don't value what you say as much as they would if they know that you know them. And you know that they're not just trying to uh, come to terms with that they are right and you are wrong. So in, in the way that we can involve uh, conflict management in a positive way, is by simply having a relationship with the people that we're in the conflict with. Instead of trying to be right all the time, instead of trying to just prove our point and uh, prove to other people and prove to ourselves that we're just right in the way we think and the way we perceive things, we can develop a relationship with those people because most of the time error and false doctrine is stemmed from uh, some kind of lie that we believe, some kind of uh, somewhat of a deception that uh, of the love of God or forgiveness of someone or some kind of abuse or something of that nature. Uh, in our text, uh, Chuck Colson or Charles Colson uh, is his proper name, was in dialogue, in email dialogue with a guy from the emergent church. And from what the from what the text alluded to is that the emergent church believes that truth is just subjective and that truth is so paradoxical that there's no that there's no no way to approach truth other than in a relative term so then chuck colson you know dialogue back and forth and he determined that the ultimate question was what is truth Truth in his words in, in the text must be knowable truth. So then the conflict, turning back to conflict, we can say that in conflict management it can be positive when it comes to terms of knowable truth. So my, my recommendation to make conflict positive and some of the strategies is that I would use in conflict management in a positive direction would be to discuss their truth in a relative term and my truth in a relative term and then put objective truth, truth of reality, truth that is relative to both of our experience and put it before and between both of us, between our right, my right and their right and let truth decide, objective truth, truth that is both for and against what I think and both for and against what they think. So therefore, Chuck Colson, according to our text, has it right. Conflict management, therefore, can be positive. It can be positive both for the person that is in error and the person that has no error. In other words, we can all learn something from conflict. Conflict doesn't just have to be who wins and who loses. We can all win in conflict if we so choose to. And I would add that it is a choice. It's not some superpower. It's not some great wisdom. It is a choice. It is a choice whether you want to be right or if you want to be in relationship with people. So therefore, conflict management can be possible. Conflict management can be positive. You can also gain a great deeper sense of relationship with a person when you do it in a positive way. Therefore, there is no winning side, there is no losing side. I would say the, the best strategy in conflict management is a deep, intimate relationship with the person that you are in conflict with. That will make you more mature, it will make them more mature, and it will also gain you a friend.